Hey guys, what's going on? Johnny's back, back again with another simple tutorial. If you've seen my last one that I did of a little walk and mech, this one's way easier. So, uh, just watch the video. You'll kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, let me start off with the probe core. You want to make sure that bad boy's straight up and down. Put the flats on the sides, just like that. Next up, we're going to put some little, uh, we'll call them hips. We're going to put some hips on there. That's right, we're going to put them on both sides. So, if you did the last one, the last the last mech tutorial I did was pretty complicated because it had all the joints. It had the hips, it had the knees, it had the ankles. And that makes uh, setting up the controller just a gigantic pain in the ass. But this one here, this one, it's easy, it's cute, it works. I'm actually going to show you two versions. Uh, we're going to do a two-legged one and a six-legged one. You might have seen some of the stuff that I've thrown on uh, Reddit lately with my little uh, walker that launched from orbit, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you the, kind of the the base of that one. But for this one, you're gonna you're gonna set it up sort of just like the last one. Right now, everything's getting built in symmetry. You just got it's two rotors per side and a leg. We'll put some feet on it. But you can see how. I build everything straight out and then I rotate the legs down afterwards. So uh, one important thing here is you want to, with the two-legged version, you want to kind of keep the legs close to the center of mass. Uh, that'll help the reaction control wheel keep it straight up and down when we launch it. What I'm doing here is I'm going to turn dampening for all the rotors all the way off. And you do that before you remove it from symmetry. Also, rigid attach. A uh, big problem I see online a lot is people people go, hey, I'm trying to build a swing wing, like an F-14 Tomcat, uh, and it's not working. I can't get it to move. Well, usually that's because you auto-strutted the hinges or the rotors, and don't auto-strut rotors, or any robotic parts for that matter. Just don't auto-strut it. Instead, rigid attach, set dampening to zero, and you should be good to go as long as you're not pulling like 30 Gs. So, as you can see just by how fast this is getting built, pretty, pretty quick to do. Right now I'm just going to set up the Cal 1000, and uh, just, just like the other one, you know, you click on the part you want. Uh, well, first you select the Cal 1000 in the action groups, click on the part you want, click on what you want it to do. So for these, we want target angle set. So that's what I'm clicking on, target angle. Set all four of those. And we'll open up the editor. And now, now for these, uh, just set your, set your play to repeat. First, we'll set up all the legs here. These are just going to go uh, full negative on one side, full positive on the other. Now, I'm clicking that little button up there to make the line straight, uh, makes it sharp as opposed to smooth. So, what this will do is it'll, instead of kind of, you know, being a wavy play, it'll just go straight through. So, like I said, we're clicking, we're going to set that to repeat. I'm gonna hit play now. Here's here where it's this is easy. So you can see that that rotor there spinning backwards. So we're gonna click on that one. We're gonna flip it vertically. So boom, that one's walking forward. Now you can see a little bit ago when I set these when you're still in symmetry, you're offsetting them to the opposite side. So one of the outside rotors is to the front once to the back, and that's gonna give us a, a churning motion, if you will. Now I'm gonna set the, the play for the Cal 1000 to the one button. So just click on, click on custom one, click on the Cal, click on play. So I'm gonna add some batteries, or a battery, 
a reaction control wheel to keep this thing straight up and down. Generally, you won't need it uh, for the two-legged ones like this. And then we're going to launch this bad boy. And here we are. So, like I said, this one's way easier than the last one. All we're going to do is press 1 on your... Uh, your custom setup whether you be PC or console same thing uh, PC just press 1 and console you open your radial menu but here it is so let's get this thing walking now look at her go <laughs> nice and smooth uh, one thing you want to turn your SAS on and go ahead and click on radial out that is why you wanted to make sure the probe core was straight up and down and if you want to make this thing go a little faster, set all your traverse rates to max, just like so. And then we're gonna we're gonna reduce the speed or uh, reduce the play time for the controller. So we're gonna set that down a little bit quicker. Now the rotors can only spin so fast, so there there is a limit. As you can see, it goes faster now, so that's pretty good. But like I said, there's a, there's a limit. You can only make them go so fast before they want to start uh, playing backwards. So you have to play around with that a little bit, but you should be good to go. So this is version 1. So let's go ahead and move on to version 2. So here's the base of what's going to be our six-legged mech. I'm still mid-process of setting this one up. Same thing as the other one. Traverse rate. Leave it where it's at for now. Dampening set to zero. Rigid attach on. And you're going to remove everything from symmetry. Uh, the main difference between this one and the other one is obviously it has six legs. Makes it a, makes it a, quite a bit more stable. You probably won't even need a reaction wheel. Uh, but the same general concept. You're going to you know, put a probe core in the middle. The most important thing is the setup of these rotors. So, see, I'm going, I'm going one forward. The middle one on the opposite side is going to go the same direction. Now, I screw this one up here. I'm going to come back and fix that later. But so the three, the two outside and the one in the middle on the opposite side should all be the same direction. Uh, as you can see, you know, mistakes happen. A lot of these videos I make, it's, it's, it's so many so many edits, just so many edits trying to build thing in one attempt. I'll actually sit there and build this thing like 6, 12 times until I can get it down to one attempt to make it. But anyways, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm moving all the outside rotors the same direction, two on one side and then the middle one on the opposite side, so they should all be the same. I'm going to set up the cow the same way as the other one. This is a bit of a slog going through all this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to after that is done. Oh, that's quick. All right, so now the same as the other one. We're just going to set everything up. Minus 180, positive 180. We're going to hit play and then go through and make sure they're all moving forward. So, you know, here the... The inner rotor is going the wrong way. We're just going to flip vertically. I'm just going to march on down through the rest of them. Just make sure, yep, see? So, if, actually, here's where one of the mistakes I made. This is what happens if you, uh, if you don't set the middle rotor the same direction as the rotors on the corners on the other side. So those, those three should not be going in unison like that. The middle one should be... Uh, 180 out of step which I think you'll see on this side we got a flip okay yeah, see how you see how the back one and the middle one here are opposing each other that's what you're after with the uh, two-legged and a three-legged so we're all good there me from three days ago that recorded the video section of this has realized that I made a mistake I'm currently trying to analyze what went wrong. I do believe I have figured it out. Yes, yes I have. He has done it. Past me has found the problem. And we're gonna correct that issue, right? Oh gosh, that was good. All right, see, so that's what that right there is what you're after. 
Two on one side, the middle on the other should be going the same. They should look the same. So that's all we need for that. Go me from three days ago. And whoop, there it is. All right, we're just going to hit play on this thing. I don't think I set up the play button. Ah, uh, well. But look at it walk. Isn't that something else? So this is a good base for a walking rover. I don't know. I don't build things that make any sense anymore. I just build things for fun. Uh, but now you've got the two-legged walker, an easy two-legged walker, and a six-legged walker. So this actually turned into this here. I got this idea originally from Reddit user Canada Goose Hater. Uh, I took his three-legged walker design, which looked like this, or six-legged walker design, looked like this. He used hinge joints. I decided to make rotor joints. And then I took it one step farther and dropped that thing from orbit. And that worked out pretty well. I was pretty proud of that. But yeah, that's what I that's what I do. I get I make weird things. People give me more ideas. I make more weird things. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope to get more videos out. I actually have another one already recorded. So I'm hoping to do these a little bit more steadily. I know I have not been great in the past at doing that. I really appreciate it if you're still here. And if you're new, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to do better getting these things out. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you have struggles with. And I'll see if I can make something for you. Thanks again for watching.